Hey everybody, uh, this is uh, Divine Empress 71, uh, back again to do another quick reading for you. Uh, for all you guys that are new, welcome. And for all of you who are returning, welcome back. Alright, so I hope everybody's having a pretty good uh, Tuesday afternoon so far. So we have, um, do you still think of me? Uh, so this this right here clearly clearly tells me that this is somebody that you are in separation from. Let's see. Control freak is here. Um, so were you dealing with someone who was controlling? Uh, this is you could have been dealing with an older person, older male or female. Ashamed. Um, someone is feeling ashamed over something that they did or said to you, collective. Focusing on uh, family. So you at this time collective could be focusing on family. Let's see what else here. Marriage is here. So you could have been married to this person collective, or this person could have been married um, at the time of you guys' uh, connection. Or marriage might be something that you may be manifesting for yourself. And then we have it's over, completed cycle. So you wrapped up some sort of cycle with this person, Collective. Uh, I hope to see you again one day. And we have fake page profile or profile. And overcoming challenges okay uh, so yeah so as I was saying you wrapped up a cycle with somebody who probably had toxic ways I don't see narcissistic yet but that doesn't mean that that's not true uh, so this person could be watching you on social media um, and they do want to see you again, even though you wrap this up. And this overcoming challenges, you guys overcame. This connection must have been a challenge for you to overcome, to wrap up, to complete. But you did it anyway. Okay. We have... Uh, we have Virgo, could have been dealing with a Virgo, Earth sign. All right, so what else, Spirit? And, oh, and we have uh, Intuition. So some of you guys may be highly intuitive. You may have used your, your intuition, probably told you that this could this um, this cycle was something that you needed to wrap up with this person. Okay. All right. What else? Then then we have a situationship, not a relationship. So. This tells me that uh, you probably had something that was on and off with this person, Collective. Um, I'm picking up more sex-based. Um, could have turned into something else, a little bit deeper, who knows. But this, this was not a... This wasn't something that was exclusive. Um, it wasn't committed, in other words. 
hmm, this person probably didn't did not want commitment. And uh, but you are focusing on um, making career moves, making more money. You are some of you guys are um, you know being uh, recognized and rewarded on your jobs. You know some of you are going to be coming up on your job, doing well. Um, and then we have fake friends is here also. I said that there. So uh, there could have been some fake, fake friends, so-called friends involved in this connection collective. Could have been. Could have been. Um, you know, you you just make it fit where it fits. Um, or this person could have had some fake friends that might have been influencing them on how to handle the connection that they had with you. Then we have uh, competition. This this could be professional or personal. So there there may there may be somebody uh, who you work with connect uh, collective uh, that may be in the same uh, they're in the same field as you are. Um, probably in the same department as you, but they compete. They consider you as competition for some of y'all. And then for some of you, the person that you were dealing with was uh, was competitive. And they could be, you know, could be, you may not know it, um, but this person could be still competing against you. Especially now that you are that you have wrapped up this cycle with them and closed out this connection. Then we have uh, sowing good seeds. So a lot of you guys uh, sowed some good seeds in the past. A lot of you are uh, very giving type of people. You give. Uh, you help people. Some of you guys are light workers. Uh, you do for others. You, um, you are, some of you guys are humanitarians. You know, you you basically look to do good in the world. And for this, you're going to reap some good karma for that. Yep. All right. Let's see. What else? Feeling stuck is here. <laughs> so this person might be... <laughs> They feel it stuck and can't move on, or maybe they've been trying to move on, and obviously they're they're not having um, good luck with that. I thank God for allowing me to meet someone like you. Yeah. So yeah. So this person uh, knows that uh, they had a blessing when they had you in their life. They know it now. But I'm hearing that they took you for granted. Controlling my emotions. So, you were dealing with somebody who didn't show feelings. Uh, they didn't show. They didn't show emotions. They, um, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't wear their heart on their sleeve, so to speak. They wore their heart underneath it, basically. Um, this person could have had. They could have had feelings for you. But they never told you. And I'm also hearing that you never knew where you stood with this person either. Correct. All right, let's see what else. What else? Do you so we have Aries is here. And we have Karma. All right. So, you could have been dealing with an Aries as a fire sign. Um, there's some karma here. Here, This person is reaping some karma now. Because you wrapped up this cycle with them. You moved on. Wow. Now, they in kind of some bit of uh, regret. Here. Let's see. And then we have co-workers jealous of your work ethic. Yeah, see? 
that's that's that falls in line with this competition or you know personal or professional some of you have some co-workers that's jealous of how of, of the fact that you are hard worker then we have childhood wounds is here I'll, um so you you could have been dealing with somebody who may be um have some childhood wounds that they have not healed from could have been dealing with a libra this is air energy and then we also have gemini as well which is also air energy and they say that the grass wasn't as green wasn't as green on the other side okay so so this tells me that uh they must have went somewhere else started another connection either after you or while you guys were in the connection with each other but they found out that that person wasn't you yeah that person wasn't you that's why uh they're saying i thank god for allowing me to meet someone like you yeah temptation and lust is here you could have been dealing with somebody who was lustful um Hmm. This person was also easy to be tempted as well when it came to lust. Okay. Gossip talking about you behind your back. So, um, now this could be personal or professional. Somebody could have been talking about you behind your back at work. I would I wouldn't doubt it because since you got you know somebody that's competing. Uh, you know, with you at work, so I wouldn't doubt it. But then this person from uh, your past could have been doing the same thing. Then we have breadcrumb. Uh, <laughs> okay, so um, that tells me that this person didn't offer much in the um, in the connection. They really didn't offer you nothing, cause. Because, you know, situationship, not a relationship came out. Mm-hmm. This person didn't offer you nothing. At least nothing much. Nothing that was worth holding on to. That's why you walked away. You had to close that cycle out. All right, let's see. Uh, I wish I knew what I know now. Yeah. Yeah, this person. <laughs> yes, somebody's in regret. Played too many games, told too many lies. Yeah. So, yeah, so you was dealing with a bullshitter, collective. And, and, so, whoever this person is, they have some arrogance about them. Because they are saying, waiting for you to reach out. So, they are going to see if you are going to reach out to them first, even though they want to reach out to you. They want to come back. That's that's what this is. They want to come back. They want to come back and uh, reconcile. Um, but but their uh, but their ego and pride is yet standing in the way. So that's why they're going to see and wait for you to reach out. Some of you probably will, or you may already have, but I know I know some of y'all won't. Some of you guys have truly wrapped up this cycle, and and uh, you and you didn't turn back. You were dealing with somebody who was materialistic. So this person cared about. Um, well, this is this is somebody who was money focused. They were money driven. They love to have nice things. This is somebody also who. Um, they are fake. They they um, you know, it's all about how things look on the outside, like on the outer surface of things. Looking so, this person looks good on the outside. But on the inside, they are tore. They are tore up. 
this is somebody that's tore up from the floor up. That's what I'm hearing. That's what Spirit just said. Tore up from the floor up. And then we have strength overcoming obstacles. So this is your energy collective. Yeah, you overcame some challenges and some obstacles with this connection. Um, I'm hearing that this person put you through a lot for some of y'all. Mm. And then we have letting go of what no longer serves me. Yeah, see, you, you uh, by using your intuition here, collective, you knew and and got the download from spirit that you had to let this go you had to you had to cl close out this cycle with whoever who with whoever this was you had to let go of this connection because you wasn't getting nothing from it i mean now now don't get me wrong it was a karmic lesson that had to be learned here by dealing with this person but as far as having this person in your life, once you learn the lesson, whatever it was you needed to learn, your spirit said, wrap it up. Just let this go. All right. And then we have using you is here. So this person could have been using, could could have now... If this was a materialistic control freak person here, um, this person probably was a user. This is somebody, uh, could have been dealing with somebody who, um, they are a opportunist. Uh, uh, they don't go into any relationship without there being something that they can gain from it. It's got to be something that's going to benefit them. So they were basically looking out for self. So with that being said, Collective, you could have been dealing with a selfish individual. But you gave this person a reality check. Some of you guys told this person about themselves. Gave, you know, pretty much spoke your mind with this person before you walked away. Mm-hmm. But the biggest reality check that this person got was when you walked away, when you didn't look back. You didn't look back. I took your love for granted this year. Okay. Uh -huh. Yep, I knew I was right. Selfish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, Spirit, what else we got? Yeah, see, this person... Uh, took you for granted. They thought that you was gonna that, that they was gonna they thought that they was gonna keep you around and use you for their own pleasure or whatever they was getting from you and that you was gonna just stick around. You know? That they thought that you wasn't gonna never move on. Now we have karma. This person is reaping what they have sown. Yeah. This person is reaping now. And spirit wants you to know, collective, that you're enough. You were enough all along. And spirit wants you to know you need to go forward from here knowing that you are enough. You are enough. Now we have jealous of you. So this person, you could have been dealing with a jealous person. And devil is here. <laughs> you know, uh, devil normally falls up on up under uh, under Capricorn energy, Capricorn sign. Could have been dealing with a Capricorn for some of y'all. Yeah, but you were dealing with a uh, somebody who had narcissistic uh, traits. Uh, let's see. Yep, this person chose lust over love. Wow. Yeah, you dealing with a lustful person.
This could have been a divine soulmate. But I don't think so. This was a well, it could have been, but it also could have been a karmic soulmate as well. Yeah. I think that's what it was. This was a karmic soulmate. Hmm. I slept on you. I slept on your love. That's what this person this that's that's why this person is in regret. And then we have pride and ego. So yeah, so <laughs> I do boy come through spirit God though, man. Yeah, see, this person is um full of pride and ego. They want to come back towards you. But they are, because of their pride and ego, they're going to wait and see if you're going to come back toward them first. Because they don't want to look, I guess to them, they don't want to look like they are weak if they come towards you. Yeah, see, Capricorn. Or more earth energy. And... Uh, I went back to an ex. So this person could have went back to an ex. Somebody that they might have dealt with before they met you. But you are loving self. Focusing focusing on you right now, collective. A lot of y'all are just focusing on you. Yep. Not even, a lot of y'all not even looking back at this person. Mm-hmm. Then we have surface level. See? As I was saying before, this person cares about what looks good on the outer surface. It's all about what's, what looks good outside. See, I want to take action, but I'm afraid. I told you, this person wants to come back. And they are also pulling on your energy. They are trying to manifest you back. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. Mm hmm Yeah. See, we have... Then we have possessive and sneaky. <laughs> I was like, let me try one more of these. Let's see. And one-sided connection. I told you. See? Wow. <sighs> yeah, so that means that you were probably giving more um, than what this person was giving in the connection collecting. Yeah, you gave you gave more than what this person uh, was giving. All right, so I'm going to pull um, a card from the uh, Energy Oracle um, deck. We'll see what the what the uh, Energy is for the uh, for the read, and then we'll close it out. All right, let's see. So we have Healer of Ages. All right, so let me get my little trusted book, and we'll see what what this this healer of ages means to you or to us all right let's see healer of ages okay so this is about health and uh, vitality okay so it, the card is in the upright so we're going to read it upright this this powerful being brings the force of ancient wisdom and profound healing the light of divine conscious, consciousness pours from his hands and heart, flowing to you with love and, and powerful healing intention. This amazing entity is with you now, bringing resolution to physical, mental, and emotional ills, helping to unblock stuck energy and revitalizing your life force. You may have felt this strong presence recently, or you may just be opening uh, to the wonderful sensations now. You you can call upon this embassy of um, miraculous transformation whenever you need 
vitality, balance, or renewal. Know that at the deepest level, an important healing is taking place. Okay. Yeah. Um, so when I look at this picture here, I think of either a guardian angel or, um, um, or God himself. Basically, you are being, uh, you are covered. You are covered by the hand of God. You are blessed. You are being watched over. And whenever you need to call on this angel, this healer, all you got to do is pray. But they're going to be right there with you all the time, collecting. All the time. Some of you could be 51 years old. Or the person that came out in this reading is, is 51. Wow. Well, that's all I have, collector. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonates. Just, you know, whatever fits, you know, uh, let it fit. Whatever, and if it doesn't, then let it go. All right? And uh, you guys have a blessed afternoon, and I'll talk with you guys soon.